ugh, I'm like so broken out right now, it's awful. It is 10.22 a.m. We go riding, or are supposed to go riding, at 11 o'clock. And you guys, seriously, yeah, I have no makeup on, because you know what, screw it. <laughs> and you guys, look! It's dumping rain! Hello my crazies, Riggin' the Horse Crazy Mama here, your equestrian mom here on YouTube, and today, Today is writing day. Like, we only get to do this once a week, you guys, because I have kids and, you know, life just happens. And, you know, it, it's just, it's kind of like my, my relaxation time, my me time. We didn't get to go writing last week because it was a holiday. So my mom-in-law was out of town and, yeah, I, it's it's quite a drive to go all the way out to their place and to load the horses and to drive all the way back and kind of confession time here. I don't know how to drive a truck with the trailer. <laughs> yeah, so that whole thing happened. So I haven't ridden in like two weeks. And then of course I showed you guys it's dumping rain right now. Like it's raining cats and dogs. Seriously, I, I sat here, I've been waiting for it to kind of clear up because sometimes, you know, it'll rain and rain and rain all night and then all morning and then like right at 11 o'clock when we leave, it'll totally just dissipate and the sun will come out and it'll be absolutely gorgeous until we get back from writing. We've just been like really insanely blessed. But I guess, you know, we have to deal with the stinky weather every now and again. I hadn't heard from my mom-in-law all morning. I was kind of nervous. I didn't know if she was actually going to bring the horses out. And so yeah, we're just kind of waiting for a response. A few moments later. Okay, so we have an update. She says that she's getting ready to go hook the truck up to the horse trailers. I wanted to check with me to make sure that uh, I'm actually going. And she says that Bingo will not be there today. His, his owner said it's way too wet, which, you know, I understand. He kind of lives out in the middle of nowhere and the, the dirt roads and stuff are just crap right now because it's raining, like I said. I did respond. I said that I'd still like to go, but I don't want it to be a safety hazard for the horses and I don't want to make her or my son miserable, so we're going to see if we can balance this out. A few inches later. Okay, so another update, you guys. My son has double layers on. Huh, you come show him your double layers. He has double layers on, like he has three pairs of pants and a second jacket. Or where's your second jacket? Where's your other one? You need two at least. You're going to be freezing. I don't want you to be freezing. Go get your second jacket and your gloves, okay? Run fast. Go, 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 go. Be free. Yeah, so he's off to go get his jacket and gloves. And I'm fine. I really have no issue with harsh weather. I walked to my college classes in a blizzard several times. Yeah, so, so harsh weather really doesn't bother me. It's just a case of I don't want the horses to be sick or miserable and I don't want my son to be miserable or my mom-in-law to be miserable. I'm bringing homemade pizza to kind of make up for this, but you know, my mom-in-law is really excited to go. I'm really excited to go and quite honestly, I kind of need this. <laughs> Mama needs to release some stress, you know? So yeah, I, I, I think we're gonna go. <laughs> I'm all worried about my son and being like, oh, he's gonna be so cold, poor thing. Look at the tenacity of my little boy. Like, look at this. He is in the car, in the window, <laughs> waiting for me to get in with him. <laughs> He's like, come on, mom. Are we going or not? <laughs> hey, silly boy, I still gotta get some stuff ready. Hmm? I still gotta get some stuff ready before we can go. You being out here too long, you're gonna freeze. <laughs> okay, so we are actually headed out the door. Whether or not this ride will be a success is yet to be determined. <laughs> Ugh, I'm like so broken out right now, it's awful. But you know, it is what it is and it just doesn't make any sense to put on makeup when you're going riding. Am I right or am I right? Yeah. I'm right. Oh my god. 
gosh. This. Am I crazy, you guys? Of course I'm crazy. The, the, the whole title of this channel is Horse Crazy Mama, so yeah, I think we've already established that fact. Come on, buddy. Thanks. You're welcome. I don't think anybody's gonna be parking where the trailers are today, so. Hey, hey, I just want you to hold me. I don't, I'm not gonna hold you, you're not a baby. One, two, three, jump. Yeah, good job. Yeah, I know, right? Gross. Okay, here we go. We made it, you guys, we're here at the arena. <laughs> There's my mom and mom and my son enjoying a cheese stick. It's his favorite, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> and what's nice about the rain, well I mean as long as we avoid that part there, is that nobody else is here at the arena. Nobody. We get it all to ourselves. It's fantastic. You ready, Charger? <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty cool. Thanks. Cool. Hey, hey, be nice. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Come on, buddy. Good boy. So the dirt here is like really, really deep. So he has to step really high <laughs> in order to get through it, poor thing. It was good exercise, huh? I want to keep you healthy and fit and strong. You can enjoy everything, huh? And take you on some fun little little hacks. So yeah, it's gonna be really wobbly. I haven't been able to figure out the GoPro, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that, that kind of tells you how how technologically intelligent I am. <laughs> Well, according to that, anyways, I can edit a video pretty well. Um, so I just used my little flexible tripod here and hooked it to the pommel. Now you guys can see what it looks like when I ride Charger. His head's really low right now. He's nice and relaxed. He's doing really well. Like last week, it was really hard to to get him to relax and calm down and uh, just enjoy life, poor thing. But he's he's starting to take to it now. He didn't run off with me when I was mounting. You know, he's he's not um, taking off with me right now. Well, I say that as soon as he starts to pick up the pace. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. I think he just kind of gets nervous here because the water is draining. We'll just kind of move out of the mud here. There we go. It's okay, buddy. It's all right. Good boy. You had good listening. Easy. All right, we're gonna go the other direction now. You turn around. Good boy. Oh, he turned so sharp. Yeah, we're gonna try and, he's trying to yank the reins out of my hands because he thinks I'm gonna pull on his face. Don't worry, buddy. Hey, stop. It's okay. Yeah, he just wants to sit next to Doc the whole day. That's all right. It's okay. Yep, yep, I'm testing the boundaries. Just like every toddler. I say that, he's like older than I am, but. <laughs> all right. Now that we finally have mounted Doc, who is so lazy, he works really hard to not let me get up. <laughs> like it's angry whenever I try to tighten this cinch. Yeah, I gotta fix the saddle now. There we go. And he like moves away when I try to mount. Are you stinker, Doc? Like. Seriously, this, this horse, I love him to pieces. I really do. <laughs> just like, we, we just have a difference of opinion on um, work. He's a good trail horse though. Like, 
he he doesn't spook at well of course I tell you that and then he spooks at the rain. <laughs> Whoa. Why are you pinning your ears? Huh? Good boy. Doing great. We're just trotting. These I know, you think that you can start cantering and then like give a buck and be sassy? Come on. But we're not gonna do that. Cause guess what? Bingo tried that on me. He actually did successfully buck me off. I wish I would have caught that on tape, but caught me. I would have caught that on tape. But we got back on. It was, he didn't really fuck me off. He actually, uh, the saddle came loose. And so it rolled. <laughs> that's how I fell off. Otherwise I would not have fallen off. And that sounds really cocky, but okay, I think I have a pretty good seat. Not that good. It's usually this spot where he starts bucking. So I'm gonna see if I can actually start him cantering on the other side. Maybe a change of scenery will help him out. Then again, that might not be a great idea because you know, hey, trot, trot. Come on, I wasn't paying attention, so he decided. Trot, trot. Jock, come on. That's it, good boy. That's kind of a spooky spot, so I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, we could give it a shot, maybe after the little green one he doesn't like. That's what I'm looking for. Come on. Good. Oh. No, no attitude. Canter. Come. Good boy. That's it. Easy. Good boy. And he speaks, of course, but he still keeps his canter. Good boy, Doc. Good boy. So, we did it. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that we faced the challenge, that we, uh, we made it, even though the ki kids, the horses were a little spicy today because of the cold weather and a little spooky because of the rain. I think it was very rewarding still and and it's really nice like just hanging out with the horses and being able to to do this is amazing don't let excuses hinder you I mean obviously pay attention to safety and common sense but don't let the excuses and don't let the challenges stop you from achieving your dreams it's not worth it I promise you guys are amazing keep the crazy and horse crazy y'all be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. Yeah, Doc says no, don't miss the next video. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Bye.